Welcome to another episode of Asimis Paghor. This is Geetika Saikya. So today we are going to cook a very simple dry fish chutney which is extremely popular. Had it with uh, you know on those days where you want to have some dal bhat, dal chawal. This adds to the kick of the entire meal. So let's get cooking. Let's have a quick look at the ingredients we require to make this dry fish chutney. I have here around 100 grams of dried bombil fish. You can use any fish available in your market. So uh, you have to boil some water and soak the dry fish for some time to retain its impurities. After uh, straining it for some time so the water passes away, you have to dry roast it or add a little oil so that it doesn't stick to your pan. Some salt. I like my uh, chutney to be a little hot so I'm using around say 4 red chilies and 4 florets of ga uh, garlic and a hint of mustard oil. You can either uh, use a mixer grinder to grind your chutney but today I'm going to use every traditional method that is a mot wooden mortar and a pestle. So it gives out a distinct taste to it. So let's get cooking. So uh, let's see how we prepare this dry fish chutney. I put a pan to heat a bit because we have to roast the red chilies and the garlic before we pound them. Roasting is very important of these two ingredients because uh, it gives a different flavor. It is not actually kacha, it is not even cooked, but somewhere in between. And if you roast them, the flavor also is different. So if you're worried that this recipe or this dry fig chutney is going to wake up your neighbors who are going to scream at you and knock on your door, yes, they will knock on your door, but not to scream at you or scold you, but to ask for the recipe. So uh, our red chilies and garlic have kind of brown. They are half cooked, the garlic. We are going to put it in this mortar to start grinding. So here they go. Before we start, I would like to share a very important tip is that you'll have to always first grind these two items because if they are not grounded properly and we mix the fish, the dry bombil fish which is roasted will not be mixed properly and they will not be grounded in a very even manner. So let's grind them first before we move to the other ingredients. So um, this is a kind of exactly the consistency I'm looking at, not very finely grounded, it's a little coarse because we still have to add the dry fish. Here goes the dry fish. So this chutney is yum to eat but it requires some kind of you know exercise. Uh, you definitely burn a few calories you know in this process but when you eat it you forget everything so uh, we have kind of uh, grounded it so this is how you can see the texture now we'll have to add little salt I'm adding very less salt here because the dry fish has already some kind of you know some salt in it so very less salt which I call the life of a dish so here goes the oil should be fine one last mix so our chutney is done How it's going to look. We're going to serve it here. Sure. 
you can see it's coarse texture it's not very finely grounded so our dry fish chutney is ready it's best had with simple dal and bhat why dal and bhat because it's so simple but you need to add a zing and this dry fish chutney definitely has zing to your simple dal and bhat so if you like today's dry fish chutney share your comments with us like it but do not forget to watch and subscribe to india food network